Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone is well. It's your boy, Small George, coming in. Gonna make this a quick little intro because I forgot to do one earlier when I was walking my dog. And before training, just been a busy day. But today was legs. And overall, I'd say it's a successful workout. Oh, um, yeah. Evening, how you doing? You okay? Yeah. Got a bit of friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. Just at work at the moment, just at the desk, writing some bits and bobs down. Got a class in a bit, hopefully, fingers crossed, if many people turn up. And yeah, just gonna get into the workout. Might do a voiceover, I might not. We'll see what happens. But I shall speak and hear to you guys soon. Hello, hello, hope all is well with everyone watching. So I'm gonna do a talk through on my leg day. I did my latest workout. So starting off some C lion lion hamstring curls, doing three sets here, rep range was 2015 10 per set. Um, I always start with a direct hamstring exercise because one, my hamstrings are the weakest, I wanna bring them up. My quads are a lot more dominant and two, this is my dominant quad and glute day, so, you know, might as well start with a hamstring exercise just to get a bit of blood in there before moving on to the quote-unquote big main movements of the workout. But, yeah, get a really good squeeze on it. Like, as you can see, I'm literally, I think I was only using about 15 kilos, not even that, 10 kilos, and the pump was naughty. And someone was using a squat rack, so I went straight into some split squats. And these are a bitch. So this is mainly for my glutes, as you can tell where I've positioned my hand. I'm just trying to make sure I'm feeling the contraction in my glutes. So I did three sets here. Rep range was 15. I think this was about between eight to 10 roughly. And the next set was about 20 reps, just repping it out. So this had little pulls at the bottom just to create a lot of tension. Um, if you want to get some details on the side of your legs and glutes, this is the one. If I'd have positioned my legs a bit more forward, it would have been hitting my quads a little bit more. But I wanted to target my glutes. So where you're seeing was a glute targeted split squat. And then went on some squats. So I did some triples here, um, two sets here. And um, yeah, just slowly building these back up there. Hopefully get stronger and stronger as the weeks go by. My form could be a little bit better, but it could be a hell of a lot worse. But uh, I'm happy with the like positioning of my mobility of my elbows, but they do dip on the way down, because I'm just first time you watching them back. So they start off nice and high there. And for some odd reason, on the way down, my elbows go almost under the bar. They need to stay up and high, back and high, if that makes sense. And then after doing two sets of that, I've done two sets of squats, basically arse to the grass with my heels elevated, just to get a bit more quad activation. And coming down with a slight little pause at the bottom. Um, and these felt quite nice, to be honest. Obviously the weight was lighter, but you know, I'm just going by the feeling, so just coming as low as possible, have that slight little pause, and try to be explosive on the way up. And I think that's how I'm gonna set the leg days up. Doing some heavy squats first, and then drop the weight, do some low as possible squats, little pulls, and coming back up. It always feels a lot lower when you're actually performing the exercise, don't it? <laughs> I felt like I was going so low, like I was probably like an inch off the floor. But no, I'm, I'm happy with these. Um, on the bright side, as I'm saying this, my calories are going up by another 200 and the ratio of it is all changing. Um, the last exercise was some lunges, well, last directs. Um, leg focus exercise obviously it did some calves after this but we'll talk about it in a minute but this is like a two minute clip of me just doing lunges around the gym so i might stop talking i might stop talking shit about some other stuff and everything but yeah and you take it easy okay have a nice evening all right are you in tomorrow or anything yeah. all right i'll see you tomorrow then take it easy okay that's just me saying goodbye to some people who were um, trained at the gym. Because obviously I'm on shift right now and I'm doing a voiceover. <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. But um, yeah, I would always have lunches in a leg day. 
that's one thing I will give a tip to anyone because these will blow up your legs and you will feel fucked by the end of it. But fuck no, I should really count how many lunges I'm doing. I'd be very interested. I never do. I always just say the length of the gym. Um, Kufax, I feel like it's a good distance. And with the kettlebells, I've got one what was eight kilos, one with 12 kilos. And literally, just when I got to the other side, I swapped them over. This is just a bit more to throw my core stability off balance. So my core is being activated a tiny bit more. Yeah, that's about it really. Just um, treating it like a farmer's walk as well, trying to keep my uh, serratus locked in, my lats locked in. But yeah, these get those legs wobbly. But yeah, as I was saying, calories are going up from 2000, no, 4,200 to 4,400. And I think if I remember rightly, it's 50 grams of fats. This is a training day, 715 on training day carbs. And the protein is 193 or 194, it's one of them. Um, I'm really looking forward to that because my carbs currently at the moment is sitting around about 500. About 580, I think. So it's going up by quite a bit. So let's see where little George can get to. See if he can be big George by the end of this um, little off season that we are developing. And then I'll some, just some calf raises because I think your calves can never be too good. And it's like with lats and lat width and medial delts, you can never be too wide on stage. So if you can have some decent calves, hella fucking Louia. Like They're not the biggest calves I've got, but when I do contract them, like if you see like from a rear shot or even like a side shot, they do look pretty good. But overall size wise, they need to be bigger. They need to be bigger. So doing three sets here, and I think the rep range was between about 12 to 20, roughly. And don't fully lock out your knees. That is my top tip. You don't want to put too much tension on the tendons and ligaments around the back of the knee. And then just a bit of a Zeke update. So the clove is, the, the drip's off, just off the charts. But you know when you've had a good leg day because it's hard to contract them, but I'm just looking back now and they still look pretty vascular, I must say. Still got some decent line striations in my glutes. Like I said, still pretty vascular. You know, still looks pretty tight. So, yeah, those crocs make everything look good. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Until then, speak to you guys soon.